Today, I'm going to be talking about basal cell carcinoma treatment. I'm going to talk about traditional remedies involving surgery, as well as an alternative medicine that can help. Now, before I get started, down below, I am giving away a free video-based guide on using various dietary supplements and alternative medicine. Now, in case you don't know, basal cell carcinoma is a form of skin cancer that grows slowly. Now, the good news is that it rarely spreads to other areas and it's usually not a serious threat to a person's life. Now here's a question. Can, can you guess how a person typically gets this condition? Well, yeah, it's usually from the sun, the UV rays. So the best way to prevent it is, of course, you know, limit your sun exposure or put some sunblock on after 20 or 30 minutes of uh, sun exposure. Another idea is don't use tanning beds, like, ever. They're horrible for your skin. Now, one of the most common treatments is, of course, going to be surgery, physically removing the tumor. There are different options here, and a popular one, which some people feel has the best cure rate, is something called Mohs surgery. And you might know about it, you might have heard about it through its other name known as chemotherapy. What it involves is each piece of tissue is removed and then examined and that informs the pathologist where to remove future tissue. Now another form of surgery is called a curettage. Now what happens is a surgeon uses a device called a curette to scrape the cancer down and he uses another device known as electro electrosurgical, that's the device he uses. Now a third type of surgery is called excision. And what the physician does, he'll look at the tumor and draw where he needs to cut. Uh, next, he cuts it out, and yes, healthy tissue will be included in this. And here, here's a question. I don't know if you ever thought about this, but what if the cancer is in like a very sensitive area, say like near the eyes or the nose? Well, this is when radiation therapy can be a good option. And this type of treatment uses high energy radiation to reduce the size of tumors and just obliterate the destroyed cancer cells. Uh, they even have something that's really cool. It actually travels in the blood to kill cancer and it's called systemic radiation therapy. And the last surgery which I'm going to share with you is something called cryosurgery. And this uses extremely cold temperature to kill cancerous cells. Now the main benefits of it is it's usually less expensive has fewer, fewer side effects and perhaps the recovery time is better. Now you might be wondering, well, what about the alternative medicine to treat cancer, right? Well, one of the best things someone can do to fight cancer naturally has to do with various herbal remedies. And there's just really a ton out there that can do some great awesome stuff to boost your immune system and, and really fight off this horrible health problem. Now one herb, which is uh, definitely was one of the best, which I'm going to share with you, is something called black cumin seeds. Have you ever heard of it? Well, the Prophet Muhammad, who founded the religion Islam, he said that black cumin seeds can cure every disease except for dying. Now, this is pretty far-fetched, sounds unbelievable, but here's the truth. The herb does have over a hundred beneficial chemicals, so it could do some wonderful stuff. And uh, at the University of Texas Anderson Cancer Studies Center, excuse me, studies shows that it can stop cancer cells from dividing and multiplying. It can also trigger the death of cancer cells. So that's really pretty cool. Now, if supplements and alternative medicine sound like something that's interesting to you and could help you in your life and you want to learn more, well, I highly, highly recommend you check out that free video guide I, I created. It talks all about you know, what to look for when you shop for dietary supplements, how to avoid the bad stuff, you know, what to look for there. It simplifies herbs, gives a ton of more options when it comes to boosting your immune system like a Marvel comic book hero. <laughs> and uh, Plus, it's a lot of fun. And it's also free, too, so why not? And to learn more, all you gotta do is click on the link below this video. Well, I um, hope this video might have been helpful. If you have any other ideas on treating cancer, please, please share. If you have another herb you want to mention or some other idea, uh, please leave a comment. I really appreciate that. And of course, if you like the video, you know, give me give me the thumbs up. <laughs> so that would uh, that would mean a lot to me. And have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye.